Hello everyone, my name is Philip Olaume and I welcome you to Let's Talk About Worship. Today, I want to talk about the total worshipper, the total worshipper rehearsing effectively. Last week we spoke about the total worshipper finding purpose. And um, this, this, uh, uh, today's edition addresses the need for um, having an effective rehearsal and how we can impact your worship. I want you to please note, people of God, that a very good understanding of the God we worship uh, as a worshiper should drive the way we prepare for his worship. Riazal is a very important part of worship, and as a worship leader, all eyes are on you. You should drive the meeting. Knowing um, the theory of music, it helps. It's a plus. Why? Because it influences your worship and it gives you understanding of the type of music that is being played the harmony your bgvs are singing and the role of every instrumentalist and uh, whether you are rehearsing on a weekday in the evening or on a saturday or a few hours before uh, before the before the worship service the rehearsal time rehearsal time must be stewarded well so that your team will be confident with their music and be ready to lead uh, to lead worship we need to understand that there is a major difference between uh, there's a major difference between uh, ministering a song with fear. When I say ministering a song with fear, I mean being conscious of making an, of making a mistake, of making of of um, of making an error, uh, compared to singing confidently. When when you are confident, you are able to minister the songs. You are able to worship from your heart. But when you are um, conscious of not making mistake uh, errors it draws a lot from worship it draws a lot from worship because instead of you focusing on the holy spirit focusing on god for worship to be effective you're going to be focusing on not making not making mistake so one of the first points i want to discuss today is you need to prepare yourself you need to prepare yourself don't forget we're talking about how to have like an effective rehearsal. So you need to prepare yourself. As a worship leader, you must be the most important part of the team. You need to study, you need to memorize the chords, you need to memorize the lyrics of the songs, you need to spend extra time practicing, practicing the part of the song that are most difficult. Because when you when you when you when you know those parts, you will be able to point other people's right. You are uh, more or less acting like the music director of the team and you need to be prepared so that when you can so you can hear them, their mistakes and give them specific direction on the song or the style or any form of dynamics that the song entails the second thing i want to discuss is you need to prepare your team you need to make sure that everyone gets the songs day before the rehearsal send them reminder emails or text messages so that they can know their schedule to play they know where they are coming in so as a worship leader you need to ensure that all of these things are in place and also you need to ensure that on the day of the rehearsal you're early or maybe you're delegating someone to get everything to get things ready because setting up and doing different things it takes a lot of time from the rehearsal before everybody will settle down time will be running you know so you need to ensure that things are in place even before everyone gets there and it also creates a sense of seriousness you know that yes uh, uh, um, you know that we mean business this is kingdom business and our god deserves the best so the third thing i want to discuss is the issue of start uh, uh, begin the rehearsal with prayers it is important to start the rehearsal with prayers if prayer is asking god for help so when you don't pray what you're saying is that god you know what i got this um i don't need your help in this area no but it's his worship and we need him to help us and um, the, we engage the Holy Spirit to teach us, to help us, to help us engage in acts, to say things uh, that will please Him. Because He knows what pleases God. So when we engage the Holy Spirit in the place of worship, He helps us to engage words that will please Him, to engage songs, to sing songs that will please, that will please Him. And you know, prayer has a way of it has a way of, you know, uh, of directing our focus. It has a way of directing our, uh, um, you know, directing our, directing our focus, you know, to God. It has a way of, uh, you know, purifying and sanctifying, and, you know, put putting things in uh, uh, in the in the perspective, 
you know, that will make that will make our worship to be acceptable to God. So prayer is very important when it comes when it comes to when it comes to worship and also in every other area. Of course, you know that. So uh, in the Riaza, we engage um, God to help us in the place of in the place of worship. So prayer is very very much important. The fourth thing I want to discuss is you need to give your team a quick a quick game plan. It is always good to have um, the instrumentalists run through the songs at least once um, and um, they can run through it the second time. If they run through it the second time, the mistakes that they are able to um, that they are able to note, uh, the trouble the trouble spots that they are able to identify when uh, they were running it the first time, they can fix it the second, they can fix it the second time. And um, if it's a new song, they can as well play it like three four times but it's very important that your instrumentalists that they get they get the song and um they're able to they're, they're uh, um you know they're 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 able to uh, know their parts and they're able to nail it down it's very very much very much important now the fifth uh, point i would like to mention is you try to rehearse each song at least twice at least twice that everybody, uh, and this is everyone coming in right now, the BGVs, the instrumentalists. If the song is a familiar one, if you sing it once and you got it, that is fine. And uh, there, are, there's, there are some new songs that may require that you sing it a couple of times, three times, four times. But during the first run, you give your, your, your team members uh, the, the, the chance to self-correct their mistakes um, unless if there are some parts you know that they really, really need to... Uh, they, they really need to pay attention to uh, maybe uh, uh, it, it might be like uh, some chord changes or maybe some sloppy tempo yes in that case you need to you need to correct them and uh, running through it the second time allows them to nail their part with confidence and uh, the fourth the, the sixth uh, point I would like to mention is it's okay to be picky but don't be too picky as a worship leader and music director, you want to help your team pursue excellence without being an overbearing dictator. So, oh, 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 um, hopefully, you have um, you have set the expectations for your team members to show up uh, prepared to rehearse to the uh, you know to, to show up prepared you know to the rehearsal. But your guidance during the rehearsal it helps them. It should help them to it should help them you know to uh, uh, to correct some minor mistakes and uh, you giving them and doing it in a creative way give them creative suggestions allow your team to have the musical freedom you know, within their proper style of the song and um, um, you want them to enjoy the rehearsal process you know the bible says in the presence of god there is fullness of joy so if we say we come to the presence of god at the rehearsal and um, everyone is grumpy everyone is um, uh, um, you know, uh, not happy or they are feeling stressed. So, so that is not how that is not how a rehearsal should really go. You should make the people enjoy what they do, enjoy enjoy the re enjoy the rehearsal. Yeah. So and you can help them by making your input to be constructive, to be constructive. Now the uh, the last point I want to mention in this edition is you need to encourage your team members when your team members nail their part you need to encourage them you know smile to them during the rehearsal if, if they see that you're having fun with it they will also have a good time as well you don't want them to feel that their um, you know their worship team leader is a dictator is, is grumpy no you don't want you don't want that to happen and always show gratitude for your team's hard work and uh, be their biggest their biggest cheerleader it goes a long way it goes a long way so i i, I hope you find these points helpful and they've given you ideas and inspiration on how to increase effectiveness in your worship team rehearsals and they help you grow as a leader as well uh, you, as I conclude, I wanted to please note that well-run rehearsal, when a rehearsal is well-run, you know, you, it sets up your team for a powerful worship experience. They worry less about nailing their part and uh, they focus more on worshiping God with their instrument and their voice. They are able to, they are able to connect to God. I want to thank you for joining me this week. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Philip Allow Me Music. Uh, to be notified when we post more video philip alami music on insta uh, on um, youtube on youtube and also on facebook 
or Philip Olaomi on Instagram. Please follow us. Please uh, 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 like like our content, share it with other people. Let them be blessed just as you are as well. I want to thank you for joining this week. Lord bless you. See you next week. Amen. <music>